One of the most frequent things we are asked about by people living with HIV, their partners and others is the meaning of undetectable viral loads, and particularly its implications for intimate relationships. Firstly, an undetectable viral load does not mean that there is no virus in the bloodstream at all. What it means is that the quantity is below the level we can detect with the current technology we have available. Normally when receiving such an undetectable result a person will observe on the lab report that their result is below 50, or sometimes 40 copies per milliliter of blood. There are machines which have a lower detection limit than this, but they are not commonly used at the present moment in time within most labs. This is because they are more expensive and yield no more useful information than existing assays. While there may still be virus present within the bloodstream of persons with undetectable viral loads, the high level of scientific data we now have available demonstrates that while it's theoretically possible for such low quantities to infect someone, in practice it is almost impossible. In fact, the latest published studies which followed a large number of people in monogamous relationships where one partner is positive and other negative, where the positive partner was undetectable and the couple were engaging in unprotected sex, did not result in a single new HIV infection. Many couples in mixed status relationships have even gone on to successfully start families, where both children and negative partner have remained negative. Standard preventative guidance continues to advocate the use on condoms even in the case of a person being undetectable, as levels of HIV within different body fluids can vary, that is the level of HIV within the blood does not necessarily correspond directly to the level in other bodily fluids such as semen. Increasing general population knowledge regarding what undetectable viral load means is paramount. In short, when someone is undetectable, their HIV infection is basically inactive and we need to get this point across, most importantly as a means to address relationship prejudice, whereby a negative person is reluctant to have a relationship with someone solely based on the fact they are positive. Finally, by working towards the target of all people living with HIV having an undetectable viral load it is possible for us to potentially halt the spread of HIV, even in absence of a cure or vaccine. By combining high level of community undetectable viral load with exciting new approaches such as PrEP, we can make treatment as prevention even more effective.